Oh, that's what that apple juice. Hello, you, yeah, hello, you two world. Hey, Kirk Patrick. Little horse tonight. It's 22 degrees here in Georgia. And the winds are blowing it. That ain't right, but we'll suffer through it. It's that global warming, I heard. Anyhow, <clears throat> I got an email from somebody a while back. said, man, you need to tell more stories about your trapping escapades and stuff, you know? And I said, well, okay. Huh? And try to do this without incriminating anybody. Sometimes it's pretty tough, but uh, <clears throat> a few years back, I, I sit at the house here up, picking and grinning, and uh, I'm a wildlife control officer, so if somebody nuts up and sees something they don't like as far as wildlife go, they'll call the DNR, Department of Natural Resources, the game wardens. <clears throat> If it's something they need to go to, their resources are limited. If it's something they need to go to, they'll do it. But if it's something that can be passed on to somebody like me, they'll give them my number. So this guy got my number one night. He called me about 10 o'clock at night. So you had Kirk Badger? <clears throat> yeah. DNR, give me your number. Told me to call you. I got a problem. And I said, uh, I always like to get a name. He never said it. And I said, who is this again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to write it down. Yeah, and, and where are you at? <clears throat> where do you live at? Where you, where you call from? And he told me. <clears throat> he said, you need to get, get, your, get your good stuff and get on out here. <clears throat> I said, why? He said, we got a fox. So really, where's the fox at? Well, I don't know right now, but he... He walks by my, my back fence every day, going over to the neighbor's house, going down toward the creek. <clears throat> and and it's right about the time my kids get out of school. And I said, well, <clears throat> what kind of yard you got? He said, I got a fence backyard. I got two Labradors. Good duck dog. I said, okay. <clears throat> I said, well, <clears throat> what do you want me to do with that fox? I want you to kill him, trap him, do something with his ass. I don't want him around here. <clears throat> I said, well, Mr. X, it, it don't work like that. <clears throat> what do you mean it don't work like that? I, I pay taxes. I want you to get your fanny out of here and do this. I said, whoa, whoa we stopped right there. <clears throat> I said, uh, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. <clears throat> and I ain't paid by the taxpayers. If I come out there getting that fox, you're going to pay for it. Do what? That's right. <clears throat> I said, beside, there's no danger in a fox being in your neighborhood. If he's not showing any aggression toward anybody, I'm not going to come get him. He's got just as much right to be there as you do. No, hell, he don't. I own property. I pay taxes. I love it. And I went, oh, who the heck you is? Who's your boss? I am my own boss. Well, I'm going to get a damn lawyer and sue you. <clears throat> he just went on and on. Um... Finally, I, I let him rip and roar and everything. I said, well, <clears throat> I can tell you <clears throat> how to get rid of that fox by yourself and it won't cost you a dime. Well, it may cost you $11. Boy, you got to quit. Anyhow, well, I, 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 I can do that. I said, go to a marine supplier any big box stores and get you one of them marine air horns. Let you know them college kids sneak into games and go to <clears throat> get you one of them things. And keep it right there at your back door. Every time you see that fox open that door and hit it. Straight at it. <clears throat> Foxes don't like loud noises. And you do that about twice. He ain't, you won't see him when he comes by your house and going to the creek no more. I guarantee you. Well, so that's all I'm going to get out of you is a suggestion. And I said, well, I don't know. We can talk about this tomorrow. I said, you need to sober up. I said, you can burn. I can tell. I said, you need to sober up. You can call me tomorrow if you want to. And he just hung up. And I hung up and didn't think no more about it. <clears throat> and uh, two days right along, the phone rings. And I said, oh, it's that damn idiot with the fox. I always answer my phone, you know, if I can't. 
No, I ain't. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, what's going on, buddy? Man, I want to thank you. I don't know if I owe you any money or not. And uh, I said, what? What are you talking about? He said, I went and got that horn. It works. I ain't seen that fox. I went and got it that afternoon. Come home, Mary Wood, I hit it. Next day, I seen him, I hit it. We ain't seen him today. I believe, I believe it works. I said, yeah, I know it works. Well, owe you any money? I said, no. Well, you do owe me something. Well, what, what is it? What is it I owe you? I said, well, when you think about it, <clears throat> you can call me back. I ain't going to tell you what it is. So have a good day. I hung up. About a month rocked along. And this guy called me up and said, hey, I finally figured out what I owed you. I said, really? He said, yeah, I owe you an apology, don't I? He said, yeah, you owe me an apology because you calling me everything in the book that night and all that. But, you know, I could have gone off on you, but I didn't. He said, well, he said, I just want to apologize. And he was really sincere about it. So, yeah, I know it's a pretty good thing. Some things, something goes kind of haywire and you lose hope in people. And sometimes there is hope. Sometimes they finally think a little bit and figure it out, which is what's wrong with a lot of folks nowadays. They need to think about something real hard before they go through with it. I'm going to tell you. All right. Love y'all. You too, world. Hey, Kurt Patrick. God bless and adios.